This is Couples Court with the Cutlers. This is the case of Ellison versus Johnson. You all have been together a total of seven years and you're recently married, is that correct? Yes, Sean. Right, Miss Ellison, why have you brought your new husband to court today? Because I am tired of him cheating on me with these BBW women, really, body, BMW women, body made wrong. Um, <laughs> he's been lying and I'm just, I mean, I'm trying to be a good wife and I'm sick of it. So how does it feel to know that you have been accused of cheating? It feels really hurtful, sir. I love my wife, my kids, you know. I'm here to prove my innocence today. Aww. Okay, how long have you all been married? About three months. So this is, you all should be honeymooning at this exactly. point. Right, ma'am. Take me to when you first met. Actually, okay, it happened in July. It was hot. I had a bad day at work. We were in the grocery store. Um, I was frowning, of course. He walked up to me and he said, hey, Miss Lady, let me put a smile on your face. And I said... Oh, oh that's a player, yeah, Hey, Miss Lady, lady. Yeah. Oh, wait, wait. Yeah, yeah. I gotta, I gotta you know, write that one down. Like, hey, man. Did it put a smile on your face? Yeah. It, okay, it, there you go. Okay. Yeah, I ain't right. mad at it. Yeah, you know, he said, take you out to eat, go out to the movies or something. About a week later, we did that. Um, after that, we were inseparable. And... We used to have, you know, host couples night. We played spades and dominoes. We won. We were always dominant. Yeah. <laughs> always. We were always dominant. Yeah. Always dominant. Yeah. Always dominant. Yeah. You're a yeah. Trump type. We always, we always stood out. Yeah, you we did, you know. Um, and actually, uh, when we first met, uh, we had been together maybe two months, and my mom said, I think that's the man you're gonna marry. Yeah. So you went the old school route and got the mama on your side. Hey. <laughs> he did. So you he know. Did it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because he was the only guy my mother wasn't like this. <laughs> when she met him, she was like, hmm. That was huge. That, that my was... mother was like, she smiled and she liked him. And... and even my dad didn't pull out his gun on him, so I knew. <laughs> He was... I, had, I had it going on. Okay. <laughs> I, sure, Mr. Cutler. We'll go with okay. that. Okay. Okay. So, Mr. Johnson, what do you like about her? I like everything about my wife, sir. Um, you know, she's a good mother to my kids. She's a great wife. You know, she's a, she's a friend. Um, Best friend. Smart mouth. <laughs> uh, but you, you know, like that. I yeah, like that, though. It. You know, okay. it's, it's just... A little fire. It's feisty. Um, things I don't like about her, you know, I just hate... What you don't like? Accused. <laughs> of certain things. All right, so why do you have a basis to accuse this man who seems to love and adore mm. you? So, about two weeks ago, uh, we were just, you know, chilling, having date night, the kids were gone. He receives this phone call on Messenger and he jumps up, you have the wrong number. Nobody has said anything. So, I'm sitting here, I'm like, hmm, who was that? Oh, they got the wrong number, babe. Okay. He, you know, I waited till he wasn't paying attention. I went and called the number back. They picked up and they were mouthing and blowing kisses and stuff like that. And so, then she noticed, you know, because I was in a dark lighting. Then she saw it was me hung up. You were looking at the person? Yeah, with the video chat. Ah. Oh. Oh. Okay, Your Honor. Well, I said, babe, that's not me, you know? That, that wasn't for me. That was for my brother. Like you know? I said, everybody's which, lying. Which Honor? Which Your Honor? The lady even said that it was for my brother. I don't know. That was a cover-up from both of them. Okay. Uh, Cover-up. Facts. So, uh, is this the only time your brother had a video chat yes, on your phone? Yes. Oh, it's the only time. All right. Can you, actually, is that is that yes. your understanding that it, that's the only time this no, occurred? No, I have call laws and I brought those for the court today. Oh, okay. Ron, would you please get those? Thank you, ma'am. And Miss Ellison, could you please step to the monitor and describe what we're looking at, please? Okay. As you can see, on March third. At 9.55 p.m., there was a call, the contact call. They stayed on the phone for 29 seconds. After that, it was 3 minutes and 41 seconds. Then, Trent called them for 53 seconds. Then, he called them. They didn't answer. It was a missed call at 11.17 p.m. Okay, then, he missed the video chat at 1.18. And then, they called right back at 1.19. Then, he then called them back and they were on there for 47 seconds. Uh, as you can see, they're kind of trying to keep it short. Very. You know, yeah, very short. Um, so. Then he called them twice, back to back, at the same time. Okay, Mr. Johnson, why are you calling this person back and forth and having these sh short chats? She's sitting in the room with me, goes outside, comes no. back with a video chat in her hand, saying, why are you video chatting this girl? 
And I said, you just left me, baby. You know what I'm saying? How can I be video chatting this girl? You know what I'm saying? So, but me and you having a conversation, you know what I'm saying, the whole night, the whole time. Right. So is your testimony that that's not you... That's right. ...who's doing the video chat... That's right. ...and responding? Yes, Your Honor. So, Ms. Ellison, what else did you do to investigate? Well, as you can see, I called her back. She said, she said this, your husband calls me all the time. Your husband called me that night. That's inaccurate, Your Honor. The, why would she lie and say so, your husband? That's inaccurate, Okay, Your wait, wait, wait. What did you say to him after you had this conversation? What is this? What's going on? Oh, that was, that was my brother. Oh, this and that. Why, I mean, why would she lie on you? Okay. Like, can okay, I, you can, can step back to your podium. Thank you. All right, Mr. Johnson. Did you ever call her? No, I did not. You never had contact I with her? I never had contact with her, no, Your Honor. <laughs> Look, I mean, look at the monitor. Your husband calls me all the time. Yes, Your Honor. He called that night. So she's referencing the particular night... Okay. ...where your wife answered the phone. Exactly. Okay. So she's referencing that particular night and is saying, your husband called me that night and he calls me all the time. I never called nobody. So I never called... did you know who this woman me? was? Oh, Come to find out, that's why she hung up. It was our former neighbor. We had just moved. Oh. Me and him, we had a, a fight that night. You know, he left. He didn't come back. So I was worried. Me and my friend, we uh, went looking for him, riding around. So that night, after this call, you all have a big fight. Mm -hmm. He leaves. Mm -hmm. He's gone all night. Mm -hmm. And this is the next day you're looking for him? Yeah. And your friend sees him, and then what happens? Then I pull up on him, you know, and he took off running. He had a box of chicken. Okay, you're He had a box of chicken and threw it down. Like, why would you spend your money and just throw your food down if you ain't doing nothing guilty? <laughs> and, you know, so I went around to the other street and I, you know, kind of, you know, blocked him in. And I'm like, you know, what's up? He's wait, like, wait, wait. You did a star skin hunt? <laughs> yes. Okay. okay. All right. He know I'm not. <laughs> I'm like, where you been? I ain't been with no woman. I ain't been with no woman. I have not said that. I asked you, where have you been? That was the first thing he said. So, I mean, you just told on yourself, that's like a three-year-old saying, I didn't eat the ice cream with a fat mouth full of ice cream, you know? All right, go. Okay, Your Honor. <laughs> uh, as I'm walking home, I see her. And the car revs up. So, yes, I proceed to take off running. You know what I'm saying, Your Honor? <laughs> you know, you know, I hop the fence. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Which I dropped my box of chicken. Ah. Uh, she said, you been cheating on me? I did not say I that. I said, no, you know. I said, babe, I love you. I haven't been cheating on you, babe. You know? So where were you that night? Right. Um, you know, I was going with some friends, you know, just out, you know what I'm saying, partying, What's you know? What's that name? Male friends or female friends? Right. male, you know? No females involved. Well, you know, my friends have female friends, but I wasn't with, you know what I'm saying, a female. You're the only one without a female. Okay, so there were females there? Yes, there were. But there was no female associated with you. That's right. Your That's Honor. what you're telling us. That's right, Your Honor. Yeah, we supposed to believe that. Oh, okay, you know, why didn't you tell her, I'm out? Me and her just had a dispute, you know, and I was really kind of mad about it, so I just left. You call back and say, okay, I'm cooling out with my fellas. You don't let her stay up all night worrying. That right. wasn't very considerate. Well, yes, They just had an argument. We, we, we just had an argument. You know I'm not wrapped too tight. <laughs> when know. you get an argument, people leave, you, you cool off. You don't call someone and say, hey, I'm cooling off. You just cool off. That's not realistic. That's all. Mr. Cutler. Right. <laughs> let me just be very clear. Be clear and realistic. If you and I have a cooling off period and you stay out all night and you don't call me, it's gonna be real problems. Mm. Well... Okay, first of all, don't do anything to make me leave. <laughs> so that's the first thing. Secondly, if I'm cooling off, the last thing I wanna do is engage you because I might say something that I don't wanna say. I, I, I understand. That. I right. think you're right. I think you're right. But I, you, you better come back with a box of chicken. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Yeah, I'll come back with a box of chicken. All right. All right. <laughs> if you find out he's cheating and you're done... If he is cheating on me, I'm going to... Today's the end. I'm tired of it. I'm just sick. Sick and tired. Well, hold on for one second. Your Honor, I love my wife, you know, and, um... I'm not cheating on her, Your Honor. Uh, you know, certain things that I do, you know what I'm saying, is because of certain things that she do, you know. Uh, whatever I say is wrong, you know, um... Uh, that's why I'm really hurt, you know what I'm saying? We have a family, you know, we've been together seven years, you know, have two kids, you know. I just want to make everything right. All right. Well, you think there's something going on. He's using his phone to cheat. Yes. 
we brought in cybersecurity expert, Mr. Gregory Evans, to do a full forensic examination of Mr. Johnson's phone. Uh, Ron, would you please escort Mr. Evans into the courtroom? Yes, Ron. How are you? I'm going fine yourself. Good. Now, you've done a full forensic investigation of Mr. Johnson's phone, is that correct? Yes, I did. All right. What did you uncover? Well, the first thing I uncovered was I went through his phone. It was looking kind of clean, but then I noticed he had a Dropbox on there, all right? And in his Dropbox, the only thing that was in there was a video, all right? This is that video. So when was this video put in there? That was approximately eight <laughs> weeks ago at 1.51 a.m. Ooh. Okay. Wow. Uh, this good. video shows a woman who appears to be twerking. Yeah. Uh, the very close-up video oh, of her derriere. Oh, I mean, real close. Real close-up picture of her derriere. Could you identify who that woman was? No, I could not. No, I could not. Mm. All right. Mr. Johnson? I can explain that. All right. Let's so, hear it. Mr. That's Johnson, what it's do you say? That's around the same time as the call-up. That's huh? my wife, Your Honor. You know, she's saying that to me. No. no. Did you send a twerking video yeah, to no. your husband? Yes, she did. I mean, I'm not so, mad at you no. if you yes, did. did. I mean, I have, yes, but that wasn't me. Yes, that wasn't me. Yes, she did, Your Honor. No. Okay, so you have sent twerking yes. videos to your husband before. I try to keep the that's her no... Yes, but that's it wasn't me. But you're telling the court that that's not you in the yeah. video. Yes, it is. That's around the same definitely. time as the call logs. Like, definitely. I mean... It's definitely her. Okay, here's the thing. I know my own twerking. That's right. Okay. And I know my own behind. That's right, y'all. If your wife is saying it's not hers, it, I gotta believe it's not hers. That's it's her. on my own derriere, too. That's her. So, Mr. Evans, did you find anything else? Oh, yes, I did. <laughs> I brought in these four photos here. All righty. This is a photo of a woman nude from the waist up. And this is definitely not your wife. This is a photo of a woman in the bathroom, nude, a side back pose. And then we have two pictures of a woman's privates. Mm. Very, very close up. Very Calling close up. Very close up. Uh, can you uh, explain? How do you, that was your brother too? And when were these recovered? <laughs> they range from April to June. Mm. That they were see received on, on around to the, phone. the time yeah. of those calls. All right. So, Mr. Johnson, do you know these women? These. Yes, I do. Okay. How do you know? How many different women are there? It's only one. It's one woman. Yes. Okay. Which is my wife. That is the. Not... Which is my wife. Okay. Would you hand these to Miss Allison? The... May I mm. see your honor? Is that you no, in those photos? Not. Yes, it is, y'all. No. Thank you. I pay for these nails. Not mine. Not on my hand. Oh. Mm -hmm. All right, Mr. Johnson, who is the woman in those photographs? It's my wife. Okay, Mr. Johnson, this is your opportunity. And let me just tell you this. It is better for you to tell your story than one of our experts. That's right. So I'm going to say to you and ask you one more time, do you have something you need to tell your bride? And literally, your bride, because y'all ain't been married but a few months. No, no ma'am, Your Honor. The good news is we've ordered a polygraph examination for Mr. Johnson. Ron, would you please escort into the courtroom Mr. Kendall Shull of Kendall Investigations? <laughs> you conducted a polygraph examination of Mr. Johnson? I did. Mr. Schull, you asked Mr. Johnson from 2016 up until now, did you have sexual intercourse with your former neighbor? What was his response? He said, no. The lie detector determined he was deceptive. Mm. Mr. Johnson, the truth is going to set you free one way or the other. Ms. Ellison, you got your hand on your hip. I'm trying to keep him from going anywhere else. Ooh. Mr. Johnson indicates you're being deceptive with that response. Mr. Mr. Johnson, what do you want to say to your wife? I want to tell my wife I love her. Uh, that can't know, be love. Uh, I just want to work things out with my family. 
how can you work things out and you aren't being truthful? You are being deceptive. I'm being truthful. How can you stand there and say you haven't done anything? Well, Your Honor, you know, like I say, uh, I did see someone else, sir. Did, you know, mingle with other people or, you know, talk to someone else, sir, you know? All right, you use the word, see somebody else, mingle, talk to someone. What about the sexual intercourse? That's... Well, yes, sir, you know what I'm saying? I did have sexual intercourse with someone. Okay, so you saw, you mingle, you talked, and you had sexual intercourse with someone. I'm yes, just, sir. I'm betrayed. Um... I just want to tell my wife that, you know, I love you, and I apologize for those things. And uh, they won't happen again. I know. <clears throat> you all have been together almost two years. You're living together. You have one child together. And I noticed from the court papers there is a 20-year age difference between you two. Is that right? Yes, there is. OK. I'm not mad at you. That, that can work. <laughs> yeah. But, Ms. Hill, allegations and suspicions of cheating have put a cloud over this relationship and have hurt you deeply. Tell us why you're here. Yes, Your Honor. We're here because I think that Paul Richardson is letting his past come back into our present, and that becomes a problem with our relationship. What do you mean by his past is catching up to your present? Well, uh, Paul used to be a rapper. Uh-huh. So, so with him being a rapper, there comes with groupies. And women that just he dealt with numerous of times, and they're seeing like they just won't let him go. And I've had oh, yeah. I see. Yeah. Is that what it looked like in the past, Mr. Richardson? Right. You know what? But Miss Hill, you think that's how he's still living? I don't think that exactly is how he's still living. <laughs> but I want to say like they're more like on the phone or text messages and inboxing. So it's more like he's still lingering, or they probably still lingering on. But someone is lingering on somewhere. Okay. Yeah. Mr. Richardson, Your Honor, are your player days behind you? Look, that, <laughs> let me let me break it down. Break it down. So there's a 19, 20 year age difference. She's a young tenderoni. I'm a, you know, a seasoned, retired player. You know, so... But, but that's over with. retired player. That's All over right. with. That's over with. A lot of the things that she's worried about is just a... It's her imagination. Based on looking at some of these pictures that have been submitted to the court, you was running that game pretty hard. Yeah, that, that's just mm. being friendly. You know, I'm having a good time. <laughs> Wait a minute, Mr. Cutler. I don't ever want you to be that friendly. Right. right. That right there is that's more than friendly. I mean, a woman's on her knees down in front of you. That's more right. than friendly. Right. So that's friendly to him. That's okay. very friendly. So y'all got extreme different type of friendlies. Yeah. Well how, well, how friendly can I be? You can't be that Not friendly, that friendly. At all. Because he's got dollar bills in his hand. Ain't no I dollar mean... bills in your hand. None of that. <laughs> I'm looking at that. That picture makes my back hurt. Right. <laughs> Oh, it's gonna be all right. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Whatever, man. Okay, how did you end up with a man who's almost twice your age? How did this happen? Okay, so <laughs> a guy friend and I, you know, we was um, hustling up some movies, you know. So I'm in a store and stuff, you know, and I see a guy over here, they playing, he playing the game. So he just looking back, eyes just wide open. <laughs> you know, so I was like, dang, can I have my face back? <laughs> you said uh. that? Yeah. Dan, can I have my face Let back? Let me write that right. one down, too. Dan, can I have my face back? Because he was staring so hard, he had stolen it. Yeah, yes. Like, he stole my face. Like, ooh. <laughs> Did yeah. you steal her face, man? Well, you know, uh, that's how I got her. I looked in her eyes. Yeah. Oh, you broke her down. That's a player move right yeah, there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. OK, so you meet him, you all, he steals your face, and you get together. What was the first sign of trouble? Well, the first sign of trouble is when um, he was trying to impress me. So I saw that we had a mutual friend, and I was like, okay, I know you knew this person. And he was like, yeah, you know, I know this person. Uh, if you know this person, then you know you should call them and let them know you talk to me, and they'll tell you about me. So, so, this was, so he was getting verification. He was going like, like a reference. A reference. Yeah, yeah. Like a, yeah. reference. a love reference. Love yeah, right. like a okay. love reference. I heard, yeah, a I heard, I've, I've heard a job reference. Yeah. But it's a love reference. It's a love reference. A love reference. Right. All right. So, so how did that work out for you? So once I called the girl and I talked to her, I was like, girl, I ain't know you, um, no, Paul. 
She was like, pow. Oh, pow, man, pow. Been bleep, bleep, bleep. Off and on for 13 years. I well, you know, that's a solid reference. <laughs> Very solid. I mean, Very she don't solid. know better than anybody. Yeah, at least I know he committed in that way, huh? Yeah. Was this the best reference you well, could come no, up I with? I did not know she was going to go off into that. <laughs> I thought it was going to be... She just had some feelings for me that she had let go, so, you know, she just decided to spill the beans, you know, so to speak. So you weren't but, trying to get a sex No, nah, no, nah, it, it wasn't nothing like that, man. I mean, it, it just... It sounds bad, but my intentions were not for that to happen. OK, so that was your warning sign, which was a good-sized warning sign. Why do you think he's cheating now? Well, because... Paul had ended up um, buying us some new phones. So I'm thinking that this is my phone ringing. So once I picked up, a girl asked me, uh, can I speak to Paul? So OK, I'm... a woman called you on your phone and asked to speak to him? See, the crazy part about it is because he... It, the phones were switched. Oh! So, right, once me and Paul got together after the phone call, I asked him who was this person that called your phone. OK. Right, and he told me that, well, this is such and such about the hair. Because I wanted to, you know, start my own hairline business. So, Mr. Richardson? Who was this woman? It was an old, you know... You, old you told lady. her it was a hair woman? Yeah, but I did tell her it was a hair you, woman. I just okay. trying to hold down. They had the same name. I said, oh, that's the girl about the hair. That's the girl about the hair. Yeah, so, so I lied. That's a... Uh... Ace Ventura detective. <laughs> so she dug and dug and dug. And, and Miss Hill, you know, it didn't blow over, did it? No. You didn't let it go. And what did you find? Well, I actually found um, a picture that she sent him um, to his phone. And once I called her again and asked her, why is you sending pictures to his phone? He don't want no picture of you. <laughs> but she clarified and told me that he the one told her to send the picture. And supposedly, once me and her talked, she told me that he had been over to her house that Saturday. Did you go visit her? Yeah, but it wasn't nothing like that. <laughs> listen, listen. Hey, hey, I know it sounds bad, yeah. but, but, but serious. It me does and this sound girl, bad. you know, we had been knowing each other. And when we decided to, you know, cut it off, it really wasn't a relationship. We had a little fling, but we remained friends. So, yeah, I stopped by there and saw her, spoke to her. There was nothing like that. You with believe her. that when he went over, he cheated with her? Yes, and actually, um, the day she told me, I kind of figured something was wrong because he kind of came back into the house and then he rushed out, but then his breath kind of smelled a little twangy. So I was like, you know, so when she told me about that, I didn't know what went on. <laughs> And when you say... Oh, yeah, go ahead. When, when you say know. twangy... Um, I'm going to cover my ears up for can, this part. Can you be color. a little more descriptive like but some respectful? Booty. Some booty. OK. Well, oh, there well, have. there it is. Have you found anything else that makes you think he's cheating? Because of the things I have saw, I just don't trust him. I don't believe anything he's saying. Stuff like that. So I went to his phone and I see... Um, inbox messages off of Facebook. And I kind of made a little cute post. So, you submitted that message to the court in your in your court papers, is that I correct? I sure did. So you go on his Facebook and you you post <laughs> Bay Hacking and it says, Dang, I know females was this thirsty. Y'all worse than men, but you better grab a glass of water because he mine. A lot of y'all about to be blocked and unfriended. So that's your announcement to all them feeds you looking at, like, back up. <laughs> You out. Right. OK. So what happened? OK. Well, I'm not the only woman that does that, OK? Yeah, oh, no. No, no. So, it's a thing. Bay hack is a thing. Right. So once I did that, let me tell you, about 20 females got upset and want to come in to my check your man and all this. When he's in the home with me, I check him at home. I don't have to check him on Facebook like all the other women. And you submitted some of those messages as well. I did. You need to check your man. Then yeah. you, you don't know what he'd do. That's another woman. Mr. Richardson. Yes. Hey, you said no. you retired from the game. You know, you got people out there who don't want to see you happy. So this was like one of those things where a female was saying, OK, we got her. You know, we got her against the wall. We're going to go ahead and hammer her. So they were just saying all kind of stuff. When you get these, these responses from all these women saying, check your man, you don't know what he's doing, blah, 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 to, in response to your bay hacking, what happens next? Well, what happened next is one female was a little salty than others. Oh, 
Let me... I have um, evidence right here. Okay. You do? Okay. Ryan, would you get that, yes, please? Yeah, enough said. <laughs> Thank you, ma'am. you What is this evidence we're getting ready to see, ma'am? Well, with that evidence is that she got so salty and felt some type of way because I told her she sounded like um, someone he had in hurt feelings back in the day. Uh-huh. So, with, I said that, honey, she just went and showed me screenshots that he was in her inbox. So, Mr. Richardson said to her... Wanted to say hi, miss you like crazy. Can I get you to dominate me? <laughs> I'm talking the whole nine yards. Whips, chains, cuffs, you name it. I think I want to be punished, slapped, choked, and just treated like a real sex slave. Mm. You can bring help if you like. I'm feeling real seductive and need to be tamed. Oh. Wow. And she says... But you, you're in a relationship. And he responded, everything is not what it seems. Oh, Mr. Ms. Richardson. Mr. Richardson. I, I can't even look at you, man. <laughs> not with all uh, that out there. Um, what? I'm guilty. I did that. Well, yeah, we that, know but, that. But let me, let me explain. Oh, okay. This was somebody who, you know, we had a very... Vibrant? You know, our, our relationship was, you know, strictly sexually. And I was really just kind of, you know, flirting real hard, you know, kind of reminiscing. I'm a Libra, Your Honor. I'm a very seductive and sensual type of person. So, and look, I don't... I, but I couldn't get okay, that, Your Honor. When you say, can I get okay, you to wait, dominate wait. me... Then that's exactly what I was gonna say. What? Has he ever asked you to whip him Why and choke he him? he never asked me to do that? And if he wanted that done, I would've did it. <laughs> Go on, Ms. Hill. Keep it spicy. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Got to give the people what they want. Is right. Mr. Keller saying. Right. <laughs> right. All righty, Mr. Keller. I think I think we got enough. I think we got. <laughs> I think we have a very crystal clear picture of what's going on here. All right. You, Miss Hill, believe that Mr. Richardson has gone back to his old rapper groupie days. Mm-hmm. You've got evidence of him messaging with an ex and evidence of liaisons with other women. You say another woman posted a sexy, salacious message from him on social media when you did your bay hacking. So there it is, Mr. Cullen. That's what we got. That's what we're looking at. That's what we're looking at. This court has done a full and complete investigation. Mm. At this time, the court will call licensed private investigator Eric Eccles to determine, is he cheating? <laughs> Ron, please escort him in. Mr. Eccles. Mr. Eccles. Mr. Eccles. Thanks for being here. Tell us what you did to investigate this matter. I sat in the room with a hidden camera with Mr. Richardson, and I went undercover posing as a cheater who has been brought to court himself. I think he recognizes you. I think so, too, Your Honor. (laughs) My goal was to find out if Mr. Richardson had been unfaithful. Mr. Eccles, tell us about your interaction with Mr. Richardson. Well, Your Honors, he spoke to me freely which gave me the ability to find out that he lied to his girlfriend of his whereabouts the night before. He confessed, and I brought that tape with me. I want to pick a strip club. Yeah. Oh, there's there's some good ones up in there. There's some real good ones. Yeah. Now, you get you the right one, you get... (laughs) You get dusted. Yeah, yeah, I'm familiar with it. Yeah, she know you want to... Nah. Nah. So, so why did you lie about going to the strip club? You, she just didn't ask. You know, I, I didn't volunteer the information. I, we were at, uh, you know, we... I went, you know, to the strip club. Hey, I'm here, you know, hey. But, Your Honor, you see what creates my insecurities? I feel insecure because he don't make me feel secure. I understand. <laughs> and would you... Let me ask you. If he said, hey, babe, I would like to go to this particular strip club, where, what would you have said? OK, let me go, too. Yeah. Okay. You got a girlfriend who likes looking at strippers? You got a girlfriend who will use whips and chains if you just ask? Dude. Oh, you got to do... You got to... You, you got to come home. Mr. Collins. It's all right there waiting for it's you. It's all there. You'd be surprised what can go on in a house. Right, Mr. Collins? <laughs> you got it. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. You're making me blush over here. All as long as you blush it about me, it's all good. Right. All good. All good. Did Mr. Richardson say anything else about his relationship with Ms. Hill that caused you any concern? 
Well, during one exchange, he did make it clear to me that having another woman as a backup was extremely important. Mm. All right, let's oh, take a boy. listen. Well, everybody got one on the side that they can yeah. always fall back on. If you really wanted to, you want to just, yeah. yeah. Right. yeah. That's the same thing on female. Yeah. I'm sure you got somebody if you just oh, really yeah. wanted to, you can fall yeah. back. Yeah, everybody got a fall back. You got a fall back? No, I don't have fall back. You know, my gentleman right here said he had a fall back. <laughs> I would just agree with him. Well, I it need me like a fall back. So to further investigate this case, the court would like to call licensed polygraph examiner Tommy Platt into the courtroom. Ron, would you escort him in? Yes, sir. We got to find out if you got a fall back. How are you, Mr. Platt? Good afternoon, Your Honors. It's good to see you. So, Mr. Platt, you did a polygraph examination of Mr. Richardson. Is that correct? Yes, ma'am. Mr. Richardson was asked, during your relationship with Ms. Hill, have you ever had sexual intercourse with another woman other than Ms. Hill? What was his response to that question? He stated no. What did the polygraph determine? The polygraph determined that he was telling the truth. Thank you. Thank you. Right, Thank you. Okay, babe. Retired. You retired. 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 Right. I'm so glad that mm -hmm. you were telling the truth and you have actually hung up your player shoes. Yes, I have. You two are engaged, but Miss Reynolds, you believe that Miss Elmore, your fiance, is cheating on you with her husband. Oh. And if she is, you want your ring back. Tell me why you brought this case and why you want that ring back. Me and Anthony was, like, I've known him for years, and uh, he's, like, my best friend. Well, after, throughout the years, like... Wait, um, hold up. I was being... Anthony is Miss Elmore's husband. Husband. And that's your best friend? Yes, ma'am. And you fell in love with his wife, Miss yes, Elmore? Yes, ma'am. Okay. I just want to make sure we got all the people straight. <laughs> So I see how you got together, but why you yes, want that ring back now? Because I think she cheated. Like, I think she been stepping out on me with her husband. Because mm -hmm. there's too many signs, and she tried to make me say I'm crazy and this, that, and other, but no, it's, it's just some thought stuff. And I, I don't want to marry no thought. Like... Well, Miss Reynolds, what are you noticing? What are some of the warning signs? She was a fan of, like, nothing but pictures, like... Her and Anthony, like, for the past seven years, like, even doing dumb miss, like, uh, walking the dog or anything, it was picture, selfie, selfie, selfie. But all that on social media come to a stop, like, when she got with me. So I'm like, well, you ashamed of me or something? Mm -hmm. or, or what, you ain't... I mean, what's the difference between me, like, me and him? So whereas she appeared to be very proud of her relationship with Mr. Guerrero. Mm hmm she throwing shade all my way. When you all got together, mm -hmm. no pictures, no selfie, no social media, just like, well, I just want to kind of keep it hidden. Mm-hmm, cause I been out the closet all my life. I ain't trying to be in no closet. This, this is, is your life. lifestyle. Yeah, okay. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. And, uh -huh. and if this is just a phase for her, I need to know this because I'm for real about it. Mm -hmm. Well, Miss Elmore, what are you here to prove? Because Miss Reynolds says, she wants your ring back. What are you here to prove? That I'm not cheating with my husband. If I, want, if I was going to cheat with my husband, I wouldn't have left his cockeyed itself. <laughs> I was trying to process if I heard that correctly. Yeah, I was okay. about to just say, check, please, and just no. go on out the door. <laughs> oh. so you, okay. So you've left him, and you were with Ms. Reynolds? I upgraded to her, not downgraded to cock east and west. Well, you sure don't act like it. You, like you, you do be too much shady, miss, you, man. She cray-cray. I'm telling y'all, she is cray-cray. I get woke up at 4.30 in the and morning I'm gonna getting questions. And I'm going to be cray-cray right by myself. If You're going to be cray-cray cray kissing my feet when you realize I haven't cheated with my husband. All right, so here's the thing. What was the moment that you all moved from being good friends, your husband's best friend, <laughs> to your status now? It started off with me meeting her, and it went from me testing the boundaries to flirting to seeing how far I could push it if she would tell him about it. She never told him, so it went from texting to sending pictures, from sending pictures to... So you're the one texting her. I couldn't help it. Do you look your, how cute Your husband's she is? best friend. I can't help it. She was sexy, though. <laughs> okay. 
All right, so you you made you made a turn though. It went from pictures and te to texting to, to him in the bedroom asleep and us in the bathroom and she threw that on the counter and went in the towel with it. You can't. While cut. he was asleep in the room, so wow. One thing led to another. <laughs> I'm, it, okay. It, it looks like it did. All right, Mr. Cutler. One thing led to another, and you all are together. We're, we're together for seven months now. And she thinks I want my husband back, but I don't want him. Mm. I, I haven't wanted him. If I wanted him, I wouldn't have left him for her. She makes it sound a lot worse than what it is. No, it is. Well, but, but I don't we, know we're not passing much... judgment one way or the other. We're just trying yeah. to find out what happened. You, your so, grown folk business, as my mama would say, that's grown folk yeah, business. Yeah, better, man. worse, good, bad. That's not our call to make. We just want to know what happened. Maybe this is a game of like, um, like uh, a loser high guy to kind of deal. Oh, we will find out today. So you're afraid I'm you're losing know. her the same way you got her? Maybe. Mm -hmm. But here's my thing. D did you ever tell your best friend, hey, I'm I with your wife? To. I you... wanted to, but when he started catching wind, he was like, uh, Kelly, I know uh, y'all together or whatever, but we can share her. You can have her on the weekends, and I can have her Monday through Friday. Do I look like a weekend person? No. I, you I'm know, I, I'm not going to speak huh? to that. But, <laughs> but uh... You yeah, said I, no. You you declined that offer. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. All they, right. They so... spend so much, like, between them, like, I don't know, the, double sided. Why right. do you believe she's now cheating with her husband? Uh, she got mad at me. She left for like a week and a half, and uh, we eventually made her like she come back home because I don't do the arguing. That's why she just left. Like she was mad. Well, when I got back, like that following weekend, we went to see the kids and um, at Anthony's house, and he came to me. He was like, "Man, I need to talk to you." Um, and he's been blowing up my phone, telling me she loves me, she want to fix our family, we can work things out. Well, when I brought it to her attention, she told me, ah, oh, they just lying because they mad because I don't want to be with their It dad. was lies, lies, and lies. Whatever. And, and, okay, so I said, well, without accusing her, I'm going to look through her phone. Well, everything's deleted, like, from, from, just in that frame, that time period. Everything before that and after that is there from everybody, but not them. All right. Why was that week missing? From your phone. Y'all, I don't even have no, no excuse on that. I just deleted it. Okay, but, but why? Said, worry about I didn't him. ask you for an excuse. I asked you why you did it. Because I knew how she was going to think it was different than how it was. That don't even make no sense. Amen. See? That and she made, told hold me on. I was crazy. Hold on. That doesn't crazy. even make any sense because if you just text him, how are the kids? That's okay. But if you texting him saying, I want to get back with you, where are you? Can we be a family again? That's a problem. Wouldn't yes, you agree? Yes, ma'am, but I was not doing that. If I wouldn't have never left my husband if I wanted to still be with him. I wouldn't have never left him if I didn't want to be with her. Well, you didn't want to be with her either because you left her for a week and a half. That part. I uh, didn't want to be with her. But? But the accusing and the constant knick-knack and I... Mm -mm. I, I, I put up with enough of that in my previous if with you, him. I'm not if you don't, to put up with Ms. Reynolds, yes, sir. you said Mr. Guerrero told you that Ms. Elmore was trying to get back with him? Yeah, she begged him, like, let's speak to our family, you know, let me come back home, I love you, I'm sorry, yada, yada, yada. And that was your proof that she's cheating yes, with and him? Yes, I, I told her, I said, don't even, I didn't even entertain in that, that, that argument that night, I didn't start nothing, I said, that's when I'm called Cutler's. I emailed y'all. I say, let's go ahead and get to the bottom. All right. All right. And so, so she dropped it in our lap to get to the bottom of this. Yes, yes. And that's why you got her side and her side and the best friend slash husband side. He is here. Would you please bring in Mr. Anthony Guerrero? Would you please state your name for the record? Anthony Guerrero. All right. Mr. Guerrero, what is your relationship to Miss Reynolds and to Miss Elmore? She, she's my sister, and she was my wife. Mm. All right. Mm. So, Miss Reynolds is like your best friend. Yes, ma'am. And you see her as a sister. Yes, ma'am. This, this, this is crazy. I know. <laughs> this is crazy. 
Are you currently having a sexual relationship with your wife, Miss Elmore? No, I'm not, but she was at a family member's house and a man did come pick her up <gasps> and went to a city named Alma to get drunk. Do you think Miss Elmore is cheating on Miss Reynolds? I believe she is. I definitely believe she is. I wanted to tell her, but you know, I don't, I thought that was her place to tell her that. Is it just coincidental y'all, you left your old lady the same day she had left me <laughs> and y'all got back Reynolds, together the same day? My old lady never left. But you say it's not your place. How is it not your place when <laughs> your wife, who's in a relationship with your best friend, gets picked up by another man? How is that not your place? You're all twisted up all in there. It's like, I should have told her. Your Honor. I don't, I don't you, have words. You don't have words for this? Your Honor. I, what? Yeah, Miss Elmore, what? How is it? What he is says it? it's not none of his business, but he's always sticking his nose in everything else. Why would I, why would I want to go back to him? Well, why'd you go to a family member house and have some other dude come pick he up? He lying. What'd he say? I want to share any. You think he ain't gonna say what he wants to come in between us? Uh, you said something during Mr. Guerrero's testimony. You said, why did your Facebook status change when his girlfriend and Miss Elmore separated from you all. Yes, sir. Tell me like, about that. Um, she had got mad, and uh, I went fishing, because I don't argue. I don't like to fuss. I really don't. And so I went to the pond. When I got back, she was gone. OK. And uh, I seen on Facebook where his uh, relationship status changed to single, but then the same day she came back home, is the same day his relationship status changed again, saying I'm back with Amy Ford. You know what we're gonna do? You know, cause you know, sometimes there are two sides to a story, sometimes there are three sides, sometimes there are four sides to a story. And we wanna hear Amy's side, and Amy is here. Ron, would you please escort Amy into the courtroom? Would you please state your name for the court record? Amy Danielle Ford. You are the girlfriend of the man who's married to Miss Elmore, who's in a relationship with Miss Reynolds, who's the best friend of your boyfriend. Mm hmm Is that right? Yes, Did sir. Did I get it right? Yes, sir. Give me some. I got it right. <laughs> it's crazy. It's crazy. So we've heard some testimony. Do, do you know whether Miss Elmore has a relationship with Mr. Guerrero? Um, no, we're together 24-7, but... What, what is this when, um, Annie, was you begging Anthony to take you back? Why do I want him? If I wanted him, I would have never left him. I wouldn't have went to Kelly. I wouldn't have cheated on him with Kelly if I wanted him. Okay. Why would I want him? Do you think you're the first woman who's let somebody go, and then once they get with somebody else, you start having... Babe, mm. the grass wait a minute, wait a minute. And it gets, and it gets look, amplified uh, when somebody else gets what you left. Mm. And now that your well is run dry, somebody else has got that, now all of a sudden Your you want Honor, it back. That's not the case. If I wanted him, I would have never left him and gave her an opportunity. But why, why do I want to be with a dog when I can be with someone who puts, gives me the world? All right, so, Cutler? To figure all this out, this court has done a full and complete investigation. At this time, the court will call forensic voice analyst Guy Wolf to determine, is she cheating? <laughs> If it's with you, I'm done. For the benefit of our litigants, would you explain what forensic voice analysis is? Yes, Your Honor. Forensic voice analysis works by analyzing the spoken word. When you speak, you have AM and FM frequencies in your voice, like on a radio. I can then look at the vocal patterns and I can determine where somebody's being deceptive. All right, you know what, love? I don't know if you heard this or are seeing it, but I'm looking at Miss Ford. She looks nervous. And she's got the classic I just closed body. And Ms. Reynolds looks like a lost deer in the headlights. Just... Oh, I, I am. I am. I'm just ready to find out. Hold on, Ms. Ford. I am. I am, because, like, I want her to be with me. I don't want to live without her, but I ain't fit to sit here and be no doormat either. That's it. Like, I want love. You want to be married. Yes, ma'am. You want to be married to your best friend's wife. Is that true? Uh. <laughs> well, you put it that way. Yes, it's the truth. Yes, it's true. Yeah. All right. 
Let's take a look at the first question you asked her. Since the beginning of your relationship with Kelly Reynolds, have you had physical sexual contact with Anthony Guerrero? No. What did the forensic voice analysis determine? The voice analysis determined that she was being truthful, Your Honor. Now, let's take a look at the next question. Since the beginning of your relationship with Kelly Reynolds, have you had physical sexual contact with any other person? No. What did the forensic voice analysis determine? The voice analysis determined that she was being also truthful, Your Honor. Now that you've heard the results, how do you feel? I still, like, want you to have my last name, eventually. Uh, you got a ring in your hand? Yes, ma'am. All right, let's see. <laughs> All right, this has been... Um, Very th interesting. Yeah, that's an understatement of 2019. <laughs> this has been a wild ride. It has been over the moon and back. But we're here now. Yes, ma'am. You are here with the truth. And you, Missy, <laughs> Miss Thing, <laughs> yeah, you, you're a lot. There's a lot to manage, okay? Yes, ma'am. And apparently she likes it. She loves it. Okay. But you can't make her always have these feelings that you are not in it to win it. You owe her the respect and the courtesy and the kindness to tell her that, okay? That's my rider. We, we gonna ride this time together, like... Okay. Equal. And the very first step in proving to Ms. Reynolds that you are in it to win it, that she is the one for you, and for legal reasons, you need to divorce Mr. Guerrero. Yeah.